Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can create a multi-photo Instagram post on your phone. I made a video on this about a year ago, but I found a way you can do this on your phone using two different apps. Both of them do the same thing. Both are free and both have different templates you can choose from. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start off with the better app in my opinion, and it's called template. The reason I think it's better is because they have templates for story feed and the multi photo Instagram pose. So if you just browse through the app, you can see that there's different templates you can choose from. So there's analog paper, journal, film, craft, film, minimal, instant, we fresh design layout. There's a bunch of them and each of them are $4 or if you want it for a year, you can pay $33 which is around $2.75 a month, which is about a cup of coffee, if you think about it. So once you press on gallery, you can choose the first two templates. Those two are free. I think analog probably looks better. You wanna choose a template. And so I'm gonna choose one of the analog ones and you just wanna press the check mark, edit. You wanna press add. You wanna press on the different squares. So you can just add your photo. You can add a photo to the background as well. So just select the spot you wanna take up. If you press edit, there's options for different brushes so you can write on top of it. Um, you can also change the background color in case you don't want a photo in the back and you can also add text. So in my opinion, this is the better out of the two just because of the templates. The other app is called scroll, which is very, very similar, except I think it gives you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to just customizing it. Like you can resize it. There are different templates you can choose from, but the most basic version, you can actually resize yourself. The con of this, however, is your photos might not be perfectly centered or aligned with the other app. It's a little bit more precise when it comes to measurements. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. I'm going to make more of these mobile tutorials. Let me know what video I should make next. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.